NC leadership in KwaZulu-Natal is explaining to its branches why it fired Ete Queenie Mayor Zandile Gumede. Her supporters are threatening to take the party to court over that decision. The Provincial Executive Committee announced it on Tuesday. Kumere faces charges of fraud and corruption. Sipa Mandla Gorge is following the story for us. He joins us now live. So, Sipa Mandla, the KwaZulu Natal leadership is trying to bring calm to its branches and get everyone on board regarding that decision over Gumede. Damage control much? Perhaps, yes, it is damage control, but the party will be quick to squirrel that and say it's part of their processes every time they take such decisions. They need to communicate with their branches and communicate, explain those decisions. So they are downplaying today's gathering, saying, listen, this is what we always do after taking a major decision. We are trying to bring everyone on board to explain our decision. I can tell you that this meeting is happening under a very close eye and tight watch of the police and security at the Moses Mapidia Stadium because it's tense here. But Ricardo Mtembu explains the purpose of this meeting. Well, it is normal um, that uh, when you take a decision, it's not everybody who will accept and understand your decision. But what is important, which we must, uh, a message that we must convey to members of the ANC, is that um, they are members of the ANC and they subscribe to policies and the constitution of the ANC. So therefore, when the ANC speak in Guazulu Natal, for instance, there is only one leadership in the province. It's the current PEC. So every port in the province is led by this uh, PEC. So therefore, there is no one who must identify uh, himself or herself outside the organization. So whatever difficulties that they think they might be facing about these decisions, they need to abide by the ANC and respect the decision of the ANC. And in future, the ANC will take decisions that favors them. And of course, Gumede supporters threatening to take legal action to overturn that decision. What are the chances they might be swayed following this meeting with the PEC? Very slim. In fact, we can tell you that the ANC is adamant that is not going to happen. Allow me to ask my colleague Goodwill to show you here the deployment of Metropolis as well as South African police as he will be panning outside the gate here. You will see Zandile Kumede's supporters are gathered outside. They are singing here. They want to come inside the Moses Mapida, but the security is tight because they have to register there. There is a table where by each and every person who is entering Moses Mapidia Stadium has to register. Those, that's a handful of Zandile Kumede supporters who have come out here. They are trying to come into this meeting and to air their views because they are totally opposed to the PSC's decision to fire Zandile Kumede. But that decision is not going to change because in the past we have seen the very same people coming to the Moses Mapida when the NEC of the ANC recalled former President Jacob Zuma NEC members came down here to brief them. They rejected that decision, but former President Jacob Zuma was recalled. And when do we actually know uh, where they'll be deployed to? Well, it remains to be seen. According to the ANC in Guazulu Natal, they say within seven days we will be able to know where they will be deployed to. Party spokesperson Ricardo Mchembu says, listen, we are not under pressure. We still have time. Let's listen in. Well, uh, we are still within seven days, and uh, we, we, we believe that we are going to tell you when we have arrived at that. We are considering uh, many aspects. We are not rushing, but we are going to be within the time that we have given to the public. All right, we'll leave it right there. Our reporter Sipa Mandla Gorge is in Durban.